everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in today. I'm bringing you another round of bite sized reviews. This is where I pack in about five reviews in 10 minutes time. We've got a mix of drugstore and high end in this video, just a real random assortment of products. So let's get started. First thing is this True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. I have it in the shade N1-2 Fair. It says it contains 0.5% pure hyaluronic acid. This is a very interesting texture. It's extremely thin. You squeeze some out on your finger and I mean, I would almost call it watery, or it seems like a thicker textured concealer that has been watered down, okay? When you squeeze it off onto your finger, you know, you get a little bead of product there. But once you start smoothing it out, it is just incredibly thin. And as a result, you really don't get incredible coverage with this product. But what you're definitely feeling is some added moisturization, though it's very, very thin. And I would say like a medium coverage to this concealer. They say instantly covers dark circles and I can't say it's not brightening me up somewhat. I mean, I do feel it is doing something. However, I just don't think it's doing as much as it could do. And even today, as I was using this, I'm wearing the Huda Stick Foundation, which did quite a bit really in terms of coverage help underneath the concealer. I was already in kind of a good place, but I still felt like this concealer didn't do quite enough. And I think part of that is just the thinness. It's interesting that it is thin, yet also so moisturizing feeling. And naturally, I do want to compare this to kind of a similar product L'Oreal has. It's the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. And this one I have actually really enjoyed. I think this is a fantastic concealer. I feel like this is also good about not drying out the under eye area, adding a little bit of moisture, but the coverage is better than this. That being said, the coverage on this is not maybe quite as strong as a Tarte Shape Tape, but it's definitely exceeding this one. And yeah, there might be a little more thickness in the product, but it's definitely not like thick and cakey, you know what I'm saying? And ultimately, as long as it can be effectively blended out, is a little more thickness a real problem or do we need it to be downright watery? The end result that you're seeing on my eyes is actually this. And then what I went ahead and did was I put a couple of extra dots of this on top of it to enhance the coverage. And I immediately noticed, you know, the thing I love about this is that it does give you that coverage. It also gives you the moisture. It's a richer feeling concealer than L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. If you've had experience with that and you feel like the packaging's kind of similar, Similar. It is, um, but this is a little more rich. So I just feel like L'Oreal's already got a good product out there. This is kind of performing this one's purpose, but in a better way. I want to talk about something from Blistex. Yes, this is more of a workhorse product. Um, this could be good for anybody in your household probably, but it's called the Moisture Revitalizer. It is thick on the lips. You could maybe even see it on my lips. Like after I put it on, I feel like I've got this layer, like this moisture barrier practically. It's smooth and it's not like dragging across the lips. It doesn't have like a thick dryness. It's a thick moisturizing quality. It has just this lightly sweet scent to it. But the moisture on this, again, it's Thick. I put this on before bed last night and I woke up just having this next level softness to my lips and I just thought this needs to be discussed. This is kind of an urgent need perhaps right now. I know a lot of us are wearing masks. Maybe a balm is all you want to wear under a mask. Maybe this is the thing that you want to pop on your lips if you've been going without product on your lips all day. And then you get home and you're like, okay, let's put something on that's going to feel really good. This is just a straight up highly moisturizing, really effective product. I would say it's a step up from Nivea lip balms. Um, I do love the tint that's in certain lip, Nivea lip balms, so obviously there's no comparison there, but just as far as straight up colorless balm goes, this is one of the best ones I've tried in quite some time. Friends, I recently realized that Alme is doing some different things with their line, including their blush. This is called the Healthy Hue Blush, and I have it in the shade Nearly Nude. Now, I like to investigate these colors that kind of make you wonder, how is that actually going to look on the cheeks? You know, it's kind of a neutral shade. Um, it looks like it has a satin finish, just the most gentle sheen. And I've got to say, this is a wonderful blush. I love the staying power. I love the intensity. I like that it's kind of just one pat in with the brush. It's really very nicely pigmented. And I like this toasty shade. I like the neutral quality, but a little bit of warmth, a little bit of rosiness. It's kind of hard to put your finger on, but you put it on the cheek cheeks and something about it just seems right. Um, that's all I can say. Not too much shimmer, but just a little bit of skin-like sheen. The one complaint I might have is that I wish they would have put like a pure 
hard plastic here on this window. There is just a little bit of wobble there. But what this is really about is the quality of the blush. And I just, I love that shade. I really like the formula. I like the little bit of sheen that it has. And it's just, you know, one of those hard to put your finger on blush shades that ends up looking really, really gorgeous. Guys, there's a new eyelash curler in town. Um, I don't know how many years it's been. Years of commitment to my Tweezerman Pro Curl Lash Curler. Not saying I'm gonna throw it away or anything. This has been a really good lash curler for me and um, a thing that I always talk about is the fact that it has a really nice curve here and I thought when I started using that 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 was doing something very special on my lash line and really getting in touch with all the lashes. Now I don't really know what caused me to buy a new lash curler. It was during the sale. I didn't really get much during the sale but I knew I could get a deal on it. Um, the box is really pretty that it comes in too but it's gold and it has this little red cushiony strip on it. I think the cushiony quality of this is kind of what makes it special. The first time I squished down on the lashes, I thought, whoa, there's a real grip happening. And the curl that I got from it was next level good. My standard practice for curling lashes is about 30 seconds and I kind of pulse as I'm doing it. And um, I just couldn't believe how like super upturned my lashes were able to be with this. You gotta realize if you are a straight lash person like me, the lashes are gonna drop somewhat no matter what. So you want to practically give them this super exaggerated curl, I think, if you can get it, and then the mascara goes on, it may drop a little, but then that leaves it in kind of a good place. And as far as the shape of the curler and like meshing with my eye, uh, this doesn't seem overly curved. I think you can see that the Tweezerman has a little different shape going on. This is a little flatter, but I mean, it really seems to be making contact everywhere. And like I said, the squish, the squish of this part down into that pad. It's so good. Last product I'm going to chat about today are some new lipsticks from Buxom. They are called the 90s Nude Full Force Plumping Lipstick Collection. I actually got these in PR and I'd really never tried any lipstick from Buxom. So Buxom, a line known for plumping products. Typically I'm using like the plumping lip cream or the plumping lip polish or maybe even some of their lip balms, which I have really loved the lip balms that they make. But here, here, um, I got to try some of the lipsticks that had that same kind of cooling feeling plumping quality. Not the hot stingy kind of plump, but like cooling, refreshing, feels really nice on the lips and actually may be doing something to plump the lips. Like I suspect my lips are a little bit plumper when I got this stuff on. But on another note, I think sometimes there's a smoothing that's happening, okay? There's a richness to the product to where it's filling in the lines and making the texture so evened out those lips look more smooth and even and plump. I'm gonna show you a quick try on of all these. I'm saving my favorite two in the collection for last. So we've got just six total. Packaging wise, real quick, it's a nice kind of weighty tube. You can see that there are little lips like stamped into the actual lipstick bullet, which I think is very cute. Let's start out with this first shade. This one's called Heartthrob. And this is gonna be your light kind of, I think, pink toned nude. I do really like this shade. This one kind of surprised me. I looked at it in the packaging, thought maybe too light, maybe not quite enough for me, but I really do think that's a flattering shade actually. Now we're going to move on to the shade Fly Girl. This one, we've got a little more depth, um, a little more warmth, kind of a tan type nude. Next up, we've got Dreamboat. We're getting deeper. This is a real like deep caramel color, getting more brown in there, more richness. And then we've got our deepest shade, which is Angel, uh, straight up brown. This does take me back to that 90s feel for sure. Um, um, I do like the color, but here are my favorite two. This color called Supermodel, absolutely love. This is the every person's everyday shade. I mean, we've got pink in there, but it's not too bright, it's not too light, just a really great everyday type of color. And then the one that I've been wearing throughout the video that's probably my most favorite is the one called Pop Star. So here is Dusty Rose. Um, it does have that kind of brownish infusion. I really feel that, but I'm also getting a little bit of red with this one. One too. I get the fact that we're in a time right now where mask wearing is happening so much. If I'm around my house, I'm not wearing a mask, but I am wanting to pretty much always have something on my lips. This can work for me in many occasions. I'm really not getting out that much, but I understand the situation many are in for like maybe a full work day wearing a mask and a cream lipstick just not quite feeling right or making you feel like maybe that could transfer off. One thing I'll show you is this. If we do a quick blot. Okay, we're blotting basically 
any of the excess moisture away. Look at how beautiful this continues to be on the lips, especially um, this shade that's got a little more richness. I'm not feeling actually any tacky texture to the touch. I'm able to touch my lips. I'm actually not having a lot of transfer off, but I've got a really beautiful tone going on there. So that's a possibility if you want to put them on, give them a little blot. You kind of saw in the application how the shine is not over the top with these. I love the cooling feel. That might be a complete deal breaker for some people, and I get that. Even since blotting some of this off, I can still feel it a little bit. Anyway, I think this is a high quality lipstick. Great glide on the lips, great opaque color. But anyway, I gotta stop talking. This video is gonna be way over 10 minutes. Thank you guys so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed these reviews. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I will see you again soon. Bye.